I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 10 28 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's going on scorpios so my daughter told me that i had to do them back to back nine times and then i gotta help her with her homework so let's get into it all right so because it's been a while i don't think it's been a while but i'm oh, sorry y'all i just ate <laughs> it may feel like one oh wow i'm gonna start this off with a love oracle reading for my scorpios all right so let's see what's going on in y'all love life right now for my scorpios and then let's go to finances all right, what's going on in Scorpio's love life right now? All right, so ain't nobody kissing you. Yeah, ain't nobody kissing you. Well, here we got first kiss here in reverse, okay? That's mean drought ain't shit going on, okay? Um, control, all right? So you just living your life by your own rules, okay? With rumors here in reverse. Ain't nobody really talking about you. Ain't nobody really doing shit with you like that, okay? <laughs> so nobody's kissing you. And no rumors going on. You're not being talked about at this time. And with control, you got her doing what you want to do, okay? And ain't nobody stopping you, all right? So, Scorpios, you really just chilling. You're not kissing nobody. you just chilling. All right, so let's see what the fuck going on with you. Y'all single. All right, you ain't weathering the storm. Most of these storms that you went through this year, you went by yourself, okay? <laughs> all right, Scorpios, so let's see what the message is for today. <laughs> okay. Scorpio singles. We ain't playing with it. Here I go. Alright, so who who's the man? I, I keep hearing dun dun dun. Bow, bow. What are these? Oh, this is the wrong one. That's my bad, y'all. Here I go. Maybe somebody looking for you. Sure. Maybe about to pop out the bushes. Here I go. All right, Scorpio, y'all by yourself. Nobody's kissing y'all. All these storms that you weathered, you weathered them alone. Okay. I ain't trying to be funny. It's just kind of funny. Advice from spirit. Um, you must, your most important relationship is with yourself. So right now, you know, you could have just went through a season where you were alone and you were by yourself, but it was very important for you to do so. It says today, spend at least 10 minutes nourishing your relationship with yourself. Take a solo walk, journal, or meditation. Make space to be alone with your thoughts. When you treat yourself with care and compassion and acceptance, you can navigate your life with grace and intention. All right. So Scorpio, maybe a lot of you guys have mastered being alone, being by yourself, um, you know, being able to manage your energy alone. It's a lot of people who cannot do that. They don't know how to say no to people. You know, they just at the will and the mercy of other people. And when you are like that, you will be like, why is all this energy coming to me? Why am I fighting with these people? But it's because you allow uh, certain energies to come into you, all right? Normally, they penetrate you to penetrate you through who you love, who you will let your guard down through, okay? And then these entities will snatch and, you know, attach to your energy. So you got to be careful. It says true success is a inside job, okay? So this is basically saying... Close your eyes and consider what success would look like for you, Scorpio. What would life look like if you made a decision based off all of your cumulative feelings? Let that guide your decision making so that you can live a life of true success. Now, Scorpios, you have to do what you love to do. And some of you guys are still in the stages of not knowing what you want to do. And there's beauty in that too. You like, hell nah, bitch. You know, jobs is going out a dime a day. Okay. And I get that. But when the time is right, you will know where to go. You will know what job to take and you will know what goal or aspiration that you want to achieve in your life. And you will go for it head, head first without any um, hesitations. Okay. Scorpios, you also have, you are a power you are power for good in the universe, okay? So a lot of you guys 
are that driving funny person, that driving kind person, that driving person that got to check a bitch quickly, okay? But that is a good driving force in the universe, someone to take up for the underdogs, okay? You also have make friends with the wise one within. So a lot of you guys really need to follow your intuition because your intu intuition be spot on. Some of you guys be like, nah, that can't be it or nah, I don't think so, but it's not like that at all, okay? You also have... Things are always working out. Scorpio, you need to be saying this all the time. You know what? I don't know how that's going to work out, but things are always working out for me, so I know it's going to work out in the end. Say this mantra all the time, okay? So these are my single Scorpios focusing on self, trying to get self back in order. Start chanting the things that you want. Everything always works out for me. I don't know what's going on with this paper, but I know that this is going to work out in my situation. Yes, when you say it the first time, you're not going to believe it because you like, how the fuck is it going to work out? But as you keep understanding that last week you had a problem, two months ago you had a problem, six months ago you had a problem, and look at you, still here, still living, and moving past these problems. So once you start to really look back, and see how you really have overcome all the obstacles prior to you. This ain't going to be nothing either. All right. It says life is sweeter when you slow down. So Scorpio, slow down. Stop trying to go so fast and skip so many steps. Okay. You also have your life is your own to create. So Scorpios, a lot of you guys could have thought before that outside circumstances control your situation. And that's just not necessarily true. You are the one who controls your situation by the people that you talk to, the energy that you let come into your life by answering the phone, communicating back with them, and even agreeing with them. All of these are like unspoken laws that we all need to understand. And you will really see that because when you go certain places to eat, there's not you know, there are a lot of common people there. They're not like people who are influential there. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that they know that their energy is important. That's why there's like exclusive country clubs that you would have never even heard of or know anything about because there is a vibration there that they're trying to harbor. They're trying to hold on to, you know? And Scorpio, this doesn't mean that because you're not a part of a country club or anything that you can't do it. You are someone who can harness this energy without a fucking country club. You know, you are the country club. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, don't worry about being accepted or not being in society's norms or not being married at a certain age or not having a home that you own, okay? Or not having a car that you want to drive because you can easily create what you want once you harness in on what you truly desire. What well, am Scorpio? All right. So let's see what your angels want to say. My baby said I got to keep going. I can't take no breaks. <laughs> All right. So let's see what's going on for my Scorpios, what y'all need to know. All right. Some of you guys need to exercise. Like you've been saying it and saying it, but it's time to, you know, really get into this yoga class or just get into a routine of exercising. It will really heal you. All right. They say like every athletic person adds three extra life. I don't fucking know, but you live longer when you fucking exercise, okay? Don't get me to quote no bullshit. <laughs> okay? okay, I was about to say, but then, you know, all right? So somebody uh, with a very creative or artistic expression is thinking about you. Your soul is... Your soul longs to express itself creativity, um, creatively. So whoever this is, they could be an artist. They could be thinking about you. Um, also, somebody also thinks about how you always are creating things, all right? This is somebody who has different spiritual beliefs than you. So whoever this is, y'all don't believe in the same spiritual stuff. But this person does feel like you help them create. This person also is seeing numbers and stuff, but this person is not talking to you and you are not talking to this person. So whoever this is, they were seeing numbers and things like that, but they're acting like that. They don't see them no more, okay? And we're speaking out in reverse. This is also somebody who's not talking to you, Scorpio, all right? Um, this person doesn't want to receive knowledge from you or learn anything from you as well, okay? With books here in reverse. Or this could be you, Scorpio, just saying, I need to take a rest. Like, I'm in school. I don't want to read these books no fucking more. I don't want to hear from no goddamn teacher. I don't want to learn no more fucking numbers. Now, you could be a teacher and you could just be tired of school, tired of kids, tired of books, tired of teachers, tired of PTSA, just tired of this shit, okay? Um, also, you could be a Scorpio male. You could be very overwhelmed or stressed out because you're not getting no pussy. Ain't nobody fucking you. You know what I mean? And it could be very overwhelming and very stressful, okay? Be careful with excessive porn. I love you guys. Bye.